Watch out for this guy. America's largest RV show. We'll uh, identify some of the trends we're seeing, the stuff that we found most interesting, and some of the awesome people that we met as well. Just now when I saw you, oh my God, it's them. <laughs> it's us. So this is our first show, and this is the first place we came. What are right, you looking right for? Well, we're... Lithium batteries, so we go 100 amp, 100 amps, and 200 amps of lithium, and... You see that? That is our brand new Leisure Travel Van Unity FX 2023. And it's going home with us this, Sunday night. This Sunday. All good. Uh, lots of room. This is a little Class C, but it is so Very nice. Very roomy. Very, Very spacious. Roomy. Lift this up. Hello everybody, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendelin and this is the Hershey, America's largest RV show. And it's good to be here. It's super good to be here. I think we've been coming to the show for about 10 years now and it just keeps getting better, it keeps getting bigger and we love this show. But you know, we realize we don't have the energy or the ability to show you everything because there is so much to see. So we thought in this uh, video, kind of like a little preview of the show, we'll uh, identify some of the trends we're seeing, the stuff that we found most interesting, and some of the awesome people that we met as well. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> You're my best friend I've ever met. Oh, I love it, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. You guys, I really enjoy your videos and your travels. And I look forward to copying a lot of the travels that you've, uh, you've been on. Well, we hope. So. What are you looking for at the show? No, I already bought one last year. So, what and, are you doing uh, then? You got one. Accessories, yeah. gadgets, um, <laughs> everything else that comes with RV living. So, uh, my wife can't come. Yeah, I'm just up here for one day, but uh, I love coming up here. We came up here for 10 years before we bought our first uh, Citation uh, B+, Plus, and then we traded it in last year for a Dutch Star uh, 4081, and we love it. How big is it? It's a 40. It's 40. a 4081, so it's 40 and 9 inches. So you went from wow. Class B to mm -hmm. a 40 footer? Well, we, we, uh, it's a Class C, but there's no bunk above the cab. Yeah, so it was like Different a B plus. Yeah. B plus, yeah. yeah. We loved it. Mercedes chassis, engine and chassis, yeah. and everything. It was good, but the more we traveled, the larger we had to go. It's like you guys did with your fifth wheel. Yeah, we have yeah. seen it. That's one of the trends that we've seen here. Uh huh. People do Now, you know what? We're going to go the other direction as we get older. That's right. Probably. Right. Go up, we come back down. Right. Yeah. Remember a few years ago when the trend in towables was that you make them lighter so that they could be towed by a half-ton truck? Well, that trend has now gone over into fifth wheel. In fact, that is one of the neat trends that we're identifying at the show this year. Uh, being able to actually haul a fifth wheel with all that extra room, all that extra luxury with a half-ton truck. And we're going to show you one model here in the Arcadia that's uh, making its debut at the show and see how neat that is. Sam, how'd you do this? This is a 29-foot fifth wheel and I can tow it with a half-ton truck? Absolutely. That's one of the most exciting parts about Arcadia right now is our introduction of our super light line. And this is one of our first floor plans we're debuting, which is actually our rear dinette. 7,600 pounds, the way it sets right here, and it's towable by a half-ton truck. The m most half-ton trucks that are designed for towing, specifically fifth, fifth wheels, will tow this all day long. This right here, you're gonna have a GVW right around 11,000 pounds. So that's gonna fit within that range. You know, now you can go and you can camp in some of these off the wall places and you don't wanna pull in there with a 39, 42 foot fifth wheel and you can jump around and people are enjoying that. They're meeting people, they're parking by 
cows and bales of hay and everything really you know and and what really rewards that is having a fifth wheel that you can get in and out of those places and there are so many people that have gone to boondocking in uh, national forests and state forests and in public land where you know you don't have the hookups and the sites are a little tighter but this lets you easily navigate it and i see you do have um, uh, solar and you've got lithium so um, so it's, it's ready to do some boondocking too. But well, we're going to go in and do a tour and uh, show everybody what you can find in a 29 foot towable with a half ton fifth wheel. Hey Mike, I like this large seating area. You can see quite a few people here. Woohoo! And this table, it doesn't have a post. You can move it around. This could be your desk. You Look could work and have dinner, watch TV, whatever you want to do. We have got lots of room here. And I know that tables like this, it can make it into a bed. Yeah, it drops right it, down. It drops down into a bed. But I think I really like this, that it isn't attached. And you could put it over there if you wanted it to be like the old fashioned TV trays, remember that used to be years and years ago. You could sit on the comfy chairs and watch the TV. And But as a workspace, Lower, up, down, whatever you need. I like this. Do you know what? This is massage. Oh! How, <laughs> come, massage. I, how come I have to work the camera? I'd rather... Oh my gosh, is this great? So this is a massage. massage. Yeah, a Ooh. massage chair. A massage chair is a good thing. Awesome. Especially at the show when you've been walking forever. So, you, oh, there's a light at the bottom. Yeah. Are you going to launch? Ah, oh, this is really comfortable. I really like it. And I believe that you can kick it out. A you know? strap you can pull that'll make it make the foot yeah. rest come up. Oh. It looks like you're enjoying that massage chair just a little too much. Um, well, I wouldn't say too much, but why don't you just finish the video? I'll just wait right here for you. And so while you're sitting there, should I um Turn on the TV, and then, oh, and maybe make a snack over there. I think that'd be great. Yeah, the kitchen's right across there from uh, two very comfy chairs. I see a big TV, and below that, I see the fireplace that we have come to appreciate. All these different drawers. One, two, three, four drawers. And under the oven, storage space, more drawers. More space, can never have enough space. Nice little window, microwave. What three, do we got in here? Three burner stove with an oven. Mm -hmm. Storage. And lots of storage. The sink. Divided sink. So Jen, check this out. This is new. It's um, 12 volts. So that means that you are not uh, sucking down all that electricity uh, from your batteries. 12 volts is so much more efficient. And this thing is like uh, like 10 cubic feet, the size of it. Look at the size of that refrigerator. I am impressed. But having a 12 volt makes this really nice. And again, it makes it really good for, uh, for boondockers. Really, really a nice bathroom, a seat. Yeah, a seat in the shower. I like I like that, and then of course the little shelves for your shampoo and soap. Yeah, storage for there. towel. That's pretty deep. Look how deep those are. Yes, doors yeah. on, keep everything from rattling around. The, wow, uh, lots of storage here. Look at this. A medicine cabinet. Yeah. I like medicine cabinets. I like to put things where I can easily get to them and not it's, have them rattle around. Oh my gosh, you've got lots of. You've got storage room for here. a wastebasket under there, and you've got the doors, three of them. One, two, three. Lots of space, lots of room. Now the door comes towards you. And this is a 60 by 80 queen bed. Really nice, a sort of mattress. First thing I notice is look, you can easily walk around right out here. Plenty of room to walk around, get out of bed. You've got uh, I like the nightstands. Nightstands. Lots of storage, storage up there. Up above. Two big drawers. And this is that. Oh, this uh, is nice. This is that slide out right there we talked mm -hmm. about. Look how deep that cupboard is. 
that is, it's not a cupboard, but it's a closet. It's closet. a full closet. Mm -hmm. Wardrobe. You notice the way they build this so that when you are in here, you're up walking around right at the edge like that with this cab over part. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel like you're, 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 it's claustrophobic at all. Mm -hmm. All this is in a 29 foot fifth wheel. Wow. That you can tow with a, uh, with a uh, half ton half truck. truck. Oops, got to take it this way. All right. You think I got a great one with this one? I think so too. How many RVs have you had, Judy? 14. 14? What have you had? <laughs> Oh, we've had truck campers, we've had pull behinds, we've had fifth wheels. We even converted a uh, ambulance into a motor or camper. Really? We've had let's see overlanding. In fact, my husband is in the middle of over doing an overlanding right now truck thing. Oh. Engineers have to have fun. Oh yeah, yeah. everybody has to have fun. <laughs> so, what are you looking at at the show? I, we're just looking with them, with our friends. You tried to talk them to get something, right? Uh, well, <laughs> Is he going to have to work hard to talk you guys into something? Uh, we're, we're trying to decide what we want. Well, what are you looking at? Uh, what, what kind of things do you want? Probably Class C. Class C. Yeah. And this is the place to look. I've oh my gosh, it is. Everything you can imagine. So. Well, we have five granddaughters. And in order to <laughs> camp with them, our daughter has introduced the idea of going in with them. So we're thinking, you know, the Class C is probably the best thing for a large family. Yeah, it works very well. Yeah. We can share it that yeah. way, go in together on it and share it. Well, Dean, we haven't seen each other I don't think since before COVID. I was gonna say in person, you're absolutely correct. Yeah. Did a couple, of, you know, we did some FaceTimes yeah. together and we did some uh, meeting it's, Zooms. It, it is great to see. It you. is great. So I'm looking at some of the trends I'm seeing. Yes. And I'm wondering if you have seen also that uh, there's a lot of people who got into RVing, Class Bs, the van-like movement. Yes. That are kind of like now moving up. They're, yeah. They're going up to something a little bit larger. Yeah. Not too big, but still larger. Have you guys seen that? I, I, I totally agree with you. I think if COVID did one thing, it sure made, brought people into the RV industry. And a lot of them, you know, were newbies and they started off, well, we just the van is, you know, just go with our van. And then they realized, well, this is fun, but the van can only take me little places because I can't take nothing with me. I can't take my clubs, you know, I can't take my kayaks. I can't take, you know, stuff, mountain gear, things like that. So then they're like, but we still love this lifestyle. Is there something that's one size bigger and that's where the wonder comes into play and the unity but the wonder on the ford transit chassis this is our brand new baby that we're about to launch and it's the first transit chassis or wonder motorhome that we've built with a slide out so now you're going to be able to have more interior space and still have lots of exterior space so two birds you know in the bush <laughs> one stone <laughs> beautiful now what is this? We had a wonder. We didn't have this. Yes, this is brand new. This is an optional outside TV with <laughs> a sound bar. Woo. Absolutely fantastic. We've had a lot of requests, you know, tailgating parties, things oh, like yeah. that. You know, even being out in the wilderness, you want to watch a movie with the kids or grandkids or, you know, it it's just great. nice. So go really Spartans, like go Spartans. <laughs> go Spartans. Yeah, right there from Michigan. Oh, that's, that's new. Yeah, awesome. so that's brand new. So we're quite excited about that. And we, I think a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Yeah, we talked about a couple of other little things that we've got a uh, nice option there with the uh, lithium batteries. So we go 100 amp, 100 amps, and 200 amps of lithium. And you know, storage is always a big deal. So we've got some storage in this side here. And right here, we've got a little bit of storage as well. We also have our inverter there, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Down in this lower compartment, we have our generator. So 4,000 watt. Yeah, 4,000 watt gas generator. So that's gonna run the air conditioner and all of your electronics. Of course, the wonder is all gas. All gas, correct. Yep. And then over on this side is where we have some really big storage. You're gonna absolutely love this. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at the size of that storage bin. Golf that clubs, chairs, yes. tents. <laughs> portable kayaks, uh, you name it, mountain gear. Not whatever nice, you right? like to do, you know. Yeah. I love and then it. We have our optional outside table for our 
you know, our uh, people that do a lot of dry camping. You got your own table. Have our outside service center. And, here and it of is. course, here's the big one, right? Slide out. Absolutely fantastic. It, it's unbelievable how much more interior space we have. You know, small, we're only 24.9. What was your van when you had a van? It was probably about 22, 23. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, so we're 24.9. We're only a foot and a half longer than you were. But you and have so much more space. So much more in. space and more livability. I think just more fun if for people that love the lifestyle, but they just want to do more. I want to go away longer. I want to take more stuff with me. So moving from the van life to a, a B plus. B plus. It's, uh, we think we, get, we got a trend here. Yes, I think so. I think it's a big trend. Absolutely. Wow. This is nice. Wow is right. No kidding. This is big. It just feels huge. I mean, there's three people in here. And, you know, going back to the van thing. And vans are great. They're small and they're fun. Don't get me wrong. But three people in here, do you feel claustrophobic at all? We could have five or six people in here, no problem. I mean, it just feels so big. The slide out creates lots of living space. And I'm in the back and it really feels huge. It's only a couple feet bigger than most Class B vans. Isn't it crazy? Look at this shower. Yep. Look at this gorgeous shower. I mean, you gotta remember in a Class B motor room, you're sitting on the toilet to shower. Yeah, yeah. You're not doing that here. That Big is nice. Big stand-up shower, glass doors. Am I seeing lights in there? Yep. Oh yeah, look at Ooh. that, little light. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I've got to see how the Murphy bed works. Yeah, so you can see we have a nice big galley area, and then of course we have our beautiful Murphy bed here. So, we're just going to move these two cushions out of the way. We can actually slide them up underneath too, so that they're fully functional. I'm going to bring this up, and we're gonna, there's two locks here, see there, and a lock here. And then we're just gonna bring this down. It's pretty simple. Like it's not pretty simple, it's very simple. Look how quick that was. And look, you can see here, 68 inches, 76 inches long. I mean, I'm six foot one, six two. Look at this. This is a ton of room. So I mean, what I wonder this is way. about this wonder is if this thing is uh <laughs> Means a bed model as well. He, when they can't sell RVs, he models beds. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah. So now, is this a king or is it a queen? Yeah, okay, so it's kind of a big queen. So we're 68 wide, and I think a king is 70, and we're 76 long, and a queen is 80. But as you can see, you've got lots and lots yeah, of lots storage of room. space. And of course, look at this, you're going to love this. Another pop up TV that is standard. Wow. Very nice. You see that? That is our brand new Leisure Travel Van Unity FX 2023. And it's going home with us this, Sunday night. This Sunday. Uh, Want to get a quick sneak peek? Come on in. Wow. Feels so spacious. The light colors. I like the light colors. I like the wood color. Nice mirror. <laughs> yeah, you get to say hi, Mike. Wow. You Everything notice the beautiful. colors, we, this is the uh, first time we've tried this color. This is white. I think there's a better name for it. But I think it's, is it dove? Dove white, I think. But look at this new flooring. But show everybody that. This is new on the Sprinter. Uh, this cutaway chassis, you used to have to step There used up to be a step. Because that the cab part here was down lower. Oh, this is nice. And Not now nice step down. it's all on one level. Mm-hmm. Very so nice. that is really nice. So when you sat, you ended up being like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's so now you're not doing that. Yeah. It's much more comfortable. Well, I just love it, and uh, and the the lights are different too. Look yes, at all those beautiful different. LED lights. They're like mood lights. You can control them. Ooh, -hoo, we could have mood lights. Mood lights. This is just so nice. Why we have uh, ordered the the FX again? is this is and we'll show you this in other videos but this is set up as two lounge chairs it will work as a table a kitchen table with two opposing seats and of course this all comes down as a murphy bed and that is really exciting so that's kind of the front area but there is also a rear area and, and that's uh, this rear lounge. As we're walking back here, the first thing that caught my eye was the uh, paper towel roll. 
that's nice to have it permanent and I don't have to add one. Good idea. Shall I look underneath, see what we got? We've got some room here. Probably put a trash can under there. And let's look at these drawers. One, two, three, Ooh, and our little secret compartment. Secret things. Got some room. Those are all soft touch? Mm-hmm. And a wardrobe. There's another wardrobe up front. And there's a table there, if you wanted to bring out that table. You can bring that out. So again, storage. This is like my favorite storage down here. And then the drawers. I like the gray interior. And we should show, this is that Dometic refrigerator. You can open, open it. Open it about midway. You can open it that side. And if you're working down here, and then if you're over on this side, you want to open it, you can open it that way. And it's that way with the, refri the freezer and the refrigerator part. Um, Ooh, can't forget the pantry. This Tell is a great oh, a new pantry. Lock on it. Wow. This looks durable. This is very, very sturdy. Good. Wow. We can get a lot in there. That Hi there. <laughs> this is kind of like a, a homecoming for us. Secret. Oh, yeah. A little nice secret little thing. Spot. And there's also plugs in there so I could like put my router in here that's all great back here is the rear lounge and uh, I really like that for one thing I can actually take a little nap here scooch down a little bit put a pillow back there and this is like a day bed or I can just snooze and do some deep contemplation with my eyes closed uh, but for work you see this thing this will actually slide out let me show you I love this feature and I really missed it in a rather RV. So this is a desk, a computer desk. Lift this up. All I need is my computer. <laughs> uh, and it's also, by the way, there's a, there's a cushion in there. there. There's a cushion in here. In case you, you need like an ottoman. Arm. Yeah. So this is um, really a nice area back here just to relax, do some work. And um, in the meantime, somebody else can be working up front. Okay, I'll lift these up. One, two, three. And they, this isn't hollow, like a lot of manufacturers do. They're definite three different compartments. And then down here. Lots of room. Let's show them how nice this bathroom is. It is a really a nice big stand-up shower. Great head on this thing, uh, very comfortable uh, head, uh, easy adjustment with the water, a nice, uh, nice door, room, full mirror, up here a, a little medicine cabinet. So that's just a quick sneak peek of the interior, there's a storage outside we'll show you. People want to know about uh, power. We have a 3600 watt generator, which is just nice to have. It runs on propane, uh, but we have 400 watts of solar panels and we have uh, 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. So uh, we can do some boot docking that uh, two 100 amp hour uh, batteries with a 2000 watt inverter is enough for us to even use the uh, inverter and uh, for the microwave when, uh, when we're stopped so we don't have to turn the generator on. All good. All good. Uh, lots of room. This is a little Class C, but it is so nice. Very roomy. Nice. Very, Very spacious. Roomy. And, and these uh, two sofas, you have so much room to have people stop by, entertain guests, family. Lots yep. of room. Lots of room. Just now when I saw you, oh my God, it's them. Oh. <laughs> it's us, it's us. <laughs> it is you. Yeah. Thank you, thank, thank you. you, thank you. I yes. really can't even tell you how much it meant to us to get through the pandemic and have you guys 
always get there. Us, yeah, and just really? educating. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, it really that it is was so a touching. long time. Constant we had the education fireplace, of all the TV, this. This and Mike and Jen. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. And I even I even once like was like bugging you like how are you so good at this? I remember asking yes. in one of the chats and you were right there like, uh, what was your background? How did you do this? Oh, Thank you. Well, it's a joy. And where are you from? Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. Oh, I asked you a question once. Our concern was in Connecticut, it's very hard to find Class B. We're in a Winnebago Travato right now. Very hard to find Class B dealers. And I asked you, what do we do? Where do we go? And you told us, Fred's RV. I Fred's remember RV. clearly yeah. Fred's yeah. RV. So this is our first show, and this is the first place we came. <laughs> over what are you right, looking right for? Here. Well, we we love our Winnebago Travado, yeah. but the LTV the rear twin bed wonder is the thing that makes my heart you, pound. You the guys most. had we one just these. sold it. Yeah, yeah I know. did you go but to see this one? Did this, we? Is, this is our new one. Is this is. Yours? We're driving it home Sunday. No you are. way! Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, we do have a fifth one. That's what I was wondering. You, I didn't know if you switched over. Oh, yeah. uh, we he used did too. I saw him and almost started crying. <laughs> I cry every time I see him. <laughs> we have. Uh, we fun? use the fifth wheel. We use the fifth wheel. Uh, it's like a base cap, you know, like a cabin. You're looking for. Um, he's trying to get talk me into a toy hauler. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it looks Which like it's mission impossible. It, it looks like you've got it. No, really? It's she likes the you know the glamorous part, you know, and it's hard to find a toy hauler with the garage and add all the glamour to it. Oh no, that's what you can make it really glamorous. glamorous. Just well, that's an idea for the manufacturers. Correct. They need to Correct. have the toy hauler, and they also need to have the glamour. glamour. The, yeah, with some glitz. Have you been to the show before? Oh uh, yeah, we were here last year. So you, I saw you guys last year, but I couldn't catch up to you. Are, are you going to buy this year? You think? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, you can be talked into I it. I can be. Life <laughs> short. Just not sure about a toy hauler. Life short, right? But there's some glamorous ones. Yeah. So you are the glamper, and you are the let's go out and have some fun and get dirty. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's a good fix. And it, and really, you know, with the toy hauler part, you just kind of shut it off, and then you have it all frilly and nice right. and glamorous. And uh, yeah. you tell him to take off your boots before you come in the rest of the uh, hauler. So, what are we going to be taking in this toy hauler? Uh, golf cart, uh, motorcycle, uh, e-bikes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're big on the e-bikes now. Yeah. And what are you going to do to make it glamorous? Do to make it glamorous? Yeah. Oh, I bring out all my crystal. You know, we don't drink out of plastic. We glam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Invite us when you're there. All right. Like, we will. Yeah. I follow you guys oh. all the time like that on, on YouTube. Love your stuff. So it's what great. did you guys get here? We we, we uh, got a Volano 390 LK root yep. kitchen. 2023 ordered 2023. our first one. How long is it going to take? Uh, they said first January. Year. The bad thing is we have to pick it up in Buffalo, New York. <laughs> Well, you're picking it up though. That's that's, the best part. that's true. We uh, like yeah. I say we pulled the trigger. We've been doing our research for two, two to three years. You guys have been helping with that. Yes, definitely. Uh, yes, we like what you guys put out. Uh, you're honest, and you tell it like it is. Well, thank we you. appreciate that. So that's a preview of some of the things that we saw that uh, caught our eye at the show this year and uh all the awesome people that we met it was uh i think i enjoy that even more than seeing these cool rvs we always meet the greatest people and the enthusiasm and the excitement that people have as they look around and dream and try to plan what they're going to get next so they can live out their adventures now the hershey show is just one of many rv shows this really kicks off the fall season uh, there's probably one near you and we urge you to go to an RV show. It's the best way to shop and see all that's available. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland at America's largest RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.